Well, who put a B in Jake Tapper's bonnet? I don't know. But Jake Tapper is sick of the hypocrisy coming from the Republican side of this election. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tabitha Speaks Politics. I am your host, Tabitha, and yes, Jake Tapper is fed up with it. Now, over the past few days, we've been having this discussion. News media has reluctantly started to report on the fact that Donald Trump has fascistic ideas, that Donald Trump has been putting fascistic ideology out there. The rest of us have been talking about this for a long time now. At least a year we've been talking about this. But news media hasn't really been jumping on what the rest of us have been talking about. They've been portraying their bias between the Democrats and the Republicans, continuously and maniacally calling out Democrats while giving passes to the Republicans, while allowing the Republicans to spread lies, propaganda, and not holding their feet to the fire. Well, now, because Kamala Harris was asked if she thought Donald Trump was a fascist, and she said yes, based on the words that are coming from Donald Trump's own mouth, now, news media wants to talk about fascism and Donald Trump because the Republican Party is calling out Kamala Harris for saying these things because they want to make it appear that the Democrats are the ones that are being divisive and using hateful language. Mm -hmm. The other day, Mitch McConnell and, and Mike Johnson came out to call out Kamala Harris because she was asked if she thought Donald Trump was a fascist and she said yes. This is what Jake Tapper had to say to Mike Johnson and Mitch McConnell. Two hours ago, two top Republicans came to Trump's defense in a rare joint statement. House Speaker Mike Johnson and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell called on Vice President Harris today to end what they call dangerous rhetoric against Donald Trump, saying in part, quote, the vice president's words more closely resemble those of President Trump's second would-be assassin than her own earlier appeal to civility. Labeling a political opponent as a fascist risks inviting yet another would-be assassin to try robbing voters of their choice before Election Day. Okay, so the two Republican leaders expressing concern about Kamala Harris calling Donald Trump a fascist. Let's show an example of uh, Harris doing exactly what McConnell and Johnson are taking issue with. She's a Marxist, communist, fascist, socialist. I'm sorry, the control room, that, that was actually Donald Trump calling Kamala Harris a fascist in September. Control room, are you ready? Please run the clip of Kamala Harris calling Donald Trump a fascist, which offended the Republican leaders. Somebody's got to explain this one. This is a radical left Marxist, communist, fascist. Okay, again, I'm sorry. That was Trump calling Harris a fascist. I apologize. Control room, can we get it together? Johnson and McConnell are very upset that Kamala Harris called Donald Trump a fascist. Please roll the clip. We have a fascist person running who's incompetent, and we have a president who's not even around. Guys, I'm trying to show the clip of Donald Trump being called a fascist. That's what Speaker Johnson and Leader McConnell are really worried about. And you keep running different clips of, of Trump calling her a fascist. Please, humor me. Humor me. Authoritarian. Um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fought, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist. For sure. 
Okay, so that was Donald Trump being called a fascist, but not by Kamala Harris. That is retired Marine General John Kelly, Trump's longest serving chief of staff, coming to the conclusion that Donald Trump is a fascist in his view. Um, guys, she did say this. She said it here on CNN. Don't you have a clip from CNN? We have got to stop him, Milley said. You have got to stop him. By you, he meant the press broadly. Quote, he is the most dangerous person ever. I had suspicions when I talked to you about his mental decline and so forth, but now I realize he's a total fascist. Okay, so that was from CNN, but that was me reading a quote from former Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley, who Trump appointed. Milley calling Trump a fascist in an interview with Bob Woodward. That wasn't Harris calling him a fascist. Control room, come on. I know we have this clip somewhere from CNN. Come on, show it. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. My control room going a little bit rogue there and making a point, perhaps. This is obviously what Mike Johnson and Mitch McConnell are worried about. Kamala Harris agreeing with the words of some of the people who have worked closely with Trump in the Oval Office in the Situation Room. That's, that's what they have an issue with, not Trump using these very same words. <laughs> Now, listen, I thought it was clever in how Jake Tapper called out these two hypocrites from the Republican Party. And I applaud Jake Tapper and being creative and calling out these two hypocrites from the Republican Party while showing all of his viewers where the hate and the division truly comes from along with showing his viewers the fascistic ideology that Donald Trump is pushing. <laughs> Kudos to you, Jake Tapper. Motion.